Hello and welcome back, Boopirians, to Universe Sandbox 2. So, we do have a schedule now, and Mondays are now officially Universe Sandbox 2 days. Um, so, I was looking through my top videos and saying, what have I not done in this game? And I actually found something I haven't done that I was actually kind of shocked I haven't done. I haven't terraformed the moon. I've done, like all the rocky planets and even like Jupiter and the Sun but I never terraformed the moon and the moon actually has an interesting twist to it considering the moon is orbiting the earth which is orbiting the Sun so there's a little bit more complexity to it and it also has a low gravity so we're gonna have to find a way to maybe add some mass without destroying earth uh, anything we do to the moon is going to directly impact the earth so we have to be very careful with that Let's go ahead and go to the Earth and Moon map. And here we are. Our favorite blue planet, Earth. Well, unless you're into Neptune or Uranus. Uh, but ignoring those two planets, let's get... <laughs> oh, I see everyone in the Discord absolutely loved me saying that. Um, so, going, going back into what we're actually doing, we are going to be terraforming the moon, and remember that everything we do is going to affect Earth, so we're going to try to do it without murdering Earth. Um, the first thing we're going to do is give the moon a little bit of water. I don't know, do we want to do this realistically, or quote-unquote realist? I, I guess we'll do this semi-semi-realistically, like very slightly realistically. We will chuck a water-carrying asteroid at the moon, which this would actually cause pretty serious problems uh, because it would knock the moon out of its normal orbit. So we're going to drop it from really, really close so that it doesn't like mess with the moon's orbit quite so much. And it's hit. Oof. That did a lot. But what that should do is raise the water content of the... Oh, did I choose the wrong object is this not the one that has a lot of water i thought triglo had a lot of water am i wrong yes i am wrong it's probably make make um but make make is a little bit larger than i wanted to go for when it came to yeah make make is actually really comparable to the size of the moon um it's it's not the same size but it's pretty large but we're actually going to use it because you know what it's going to increase the mass of the moon wait why does it not have water D did they get rid of the water on all of the object yeah make make definitely used to have water in it I i'm like 99 percent sure huh huh weird um we're gonna just uh, put water on it manually because it definitely used to have uh, water on it in this game. I don't know why it doesn't right now, but meh. And now it's going to add both mass, well, three things, mass, heat, and water. Three things that are going to be essential. Let's quickly keep an eye on this motion of the moon. How much are we going to kill the speed on the moon? Yeah, we're... We are actually having quite the effect on the moon's motion. Now it's only moving 1.04 kilometers per second, but it's not enough that it's going to destroy the world. Um, it's just going to slightly change the cycles. Uh, let's see the materials. Now the moon is 1.58% water. The heat from this impact brought it up to 120 degrees, but that's not enough. The moon needs to heat up a bit more. Now, a way that we could possibly do this is by moving industry onto the moon doing our uh more dangerous work on the moon setting up factories that cause a ton of pollution on earth on the moon because on the moon that pollution would actually be much needed uh in order to give it an atmosphere now the moon obviously has a very small mass but in consideration we just added some mass to it with that recent collision it wasn't much though Country, uh, only four hundredths of the moon, so now we're at 1.04 moons in mass. But let's see if we can hold any atmosphere if we really try. It's going to off-gas the atmosphere, but it may be able to stay 
uh, temporarily. And it, it would be heavier elements like carbon dioxide. Uh, not elements, compounds. Like carbon. Carbon is an element. <laughs> um, oxygen is an element. But carbon dioxide is a compound. And it would be the heavier stuff we're putting on. It's not going to be like hydrogen and helium, which would just instantly... Like even Earth is off-gassing hydrogen and helium. We're losing it. It's just coming right out of the atmosphere into space because it's so light. Um, well, let's see. It looks like we are actually able to hold a little bit of an atmosphere without the game getting angry at us. And if we can just get the surface pressure up to one atmosphere... Ooh, it's able to hold it. One atmosphere on the moon is obviously a whole lot less atmosphere than on Earth. That just means the pressure is the same. So now that we have an atmosphere on the moon, the next step is going to be heating it up. The greenhouse effect is going to have to go up, like I said. That is our next plan. Why are you not letting me change the greenhouse effect? Um, do we have a climate tab on the moon? I don't think so. Magnetic field, radius simulation, comparisons. Ah, Earth similarity is at 0.7% and a 1.02% oh, chance of life. That's actually not absolutely horrible. I mean, 2% isn't completely horrible. But what we're going to go back to is our temperature because we want it to heat up. Now, to make it heat up, we need to... Oh, we don't have a star in this simulation. That's really going to mess with us. We should probably switch to a simulation that has a star. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to save what we have here. Moon. Era. Not Finn. <laughs> Very beautiful name. And we're going to bring this into a new simulation. And we're just going to look for just one with Earth. Fine, and then we'll just plot the moon down. Um, we want Earth and Moon with the Sun. Do do do. I mean, we could just do Solar System and delete literally everything except for Earth, but that's a lot of work. Or we can just go to, I, I could try to get it the right distance, but I'm not going to get that without doing a Google and I don't want to stop the video. Here we go. We can do climate simulation and that's, no, that's in the normal solar system. Whoops. Darn it. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to do this myself then. New. No. Do, 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 uh, Earth distance from the sun. Oh, you know what? That's just going to be one AU. Yeah. Okay. That's going to actually be pretty simple, isn't it? Because the units we use to measure uh, in space, astronomical units, are actually measured by the distance to the Earth. So if I just do one of those, actually we can do Earth and the moon at the same time. I just do one of those and just do one AU. Hey, look. That was easy. Good job, me. Uh, look, we successfully did it. And now here's Earth and the moon, which are now correctly done. We're just going to change this moon to be where it was at. So... Do do add an object, make make, and we're just going to get that nice explosion when we knock them together. Bam! Oh no, it's not going to completely eat it. What the heck? That actually did not do what we wanted it to do at all. Darn it! Uh, let's do that again. <laughs> Oh, we kind of just beat up the moon for no reason. I feel bad. Sorry, moon. Oh, no, we beat up the moon twice for no reason. Oh, shoot. I am now a bully. Whoops. Sorry, moon. I didn't mean to do it. 
Oh, was there actually water on that one? No. What is the moon shooting off then? Well, I'm doing something, and I'm probably going to destroy Earth with all the debris from this, but point is to terraform the moon, not Earth, so it's fine. There we go. It's eating it, which means we can now turn up the water amount. We want it to be really low, though. Not that high. Um, why did I actually physically throw it into it? Well, the craters and stuff from that collision is going to make it a lot easier to see the amount of water. Will Earth be pwned by any of the debris? Apparently not. Okay, it looks like the moon is slightly cooling down. Um, what temperature is the moon at? 170 degrees. Which means that it kind of spat off all the water it had. <laughs> um... Let's give it a second so that we can not do that. Surface temperature is getting a little bit more normal now. And it's still like super red. We have like lava patches on the moon. Even when the temperature, the average surface temperature is actually pretty normal. So we have quite the problem we have to there's like we have like part of the moon is now icy and the rest of the moon is lava good job us i thought that was something they were adding in a later update did they update it am i in the beta Okay, apparently not. That's weird. They said that they were going to have local climate and stuff in a later update. Unless the this is just broken. And it's just stuck. No, no, it doesn't appear to be broken. Oh, we aren't even orbiting Earth anymore. Whoopsies. Okay. <laughs> um, well, that's still interesting. So if we plop the sun back where it goes and we once again put down Earth and the moon, do we can only make so many mistakes, right? This time we're gonna go a little bit simpler. And by that I mean, we're just going to modify the things on the moon we need to without the collisions and stuff so that I can say, yes, I did actually terraform the moon. Uh, this is not clickbait. I did actually do that. So uh, after that collision, we can expect it to be a little bit warmer and we can have a bit of water. Now the water, like I said before, is trying to leave the moon. It has too little mass. We need to push up its mass a little bit. Come on. Okay, at about 1.3 moons, we aren't losing as much material. We're still losing a lot. It is not... It's not going well. Um, the moon is really fighting us here. But we still have 1% water now. If we can just heat up the moon. And we're going to do this by throwing the albedo really low. Um, just so that we're getting all of the sunlight that hits us and we need to actually increase the atmosphere so let's give it one atmosphere now the temperature is jumping up and we can see that the moon is now a giant ocean at the same time we can get the temperature a little bit more stable if we turn up the albedo it'll like take a little blanket however it may take a little bit for it to get started you can see it started out cold, but now it's... Oh, that's going to be way too slow for me. <laughs> Let's just bring it down to where we at least have, like... There we go, 7 degrees Celsius. Not absolutely horrible. Um, our problem is going to be that amount of water we're losing. We're losing a lot of water. Like... Look at that. I don't even need to do it myself, because the game's going to do it for me. Uh, are we losing the atmosphere as well? 
That would be a problem. <laughs> uh, so it would appear that the atmosphere isn't leaving. We are losing the water mass of the moon, though. So we need to increase the mass of the moon a little bit more because it's not going to be able to hold the water. We... I don't know how big we're going to have to make the moon. This puts Earth in a lot of danger. <laughs> um, the moon's going to keep getting closer, and the amount of heat created by the moon's tidal forces is going to get dangerous. Okay, so now we've got the Earth... Uh, not nah, moon. Nah, I keep messing up words. We've got the moon at five moons, and it looks like... We have stopped losing material, possibly because we've already lost all the water. Nope, I see some water on there. Is it? It looks fine to me. There we go. We've got oceans, and we're still orbiting the Earth, although I'm not sure how safe of a distance we're at. We're probably having some strange effects on the Earth right now. I mean, the tides would be absolutely ridiculous. But look at that, we did actually get some liquid water on the moon, and there is an atmosphere as well that is keeping the moon at a livable temperature. Uh, what else can you ask for? I mean, you could ask for like a atmosphere that you can actually see, but to do that you have to get the game to actually recognize it as a planet, and I'm not sure if I can get the moon to that point. I think that the moon is just kind of locked into being a moon in this game. Um, We'll just raise this to see if we can. Maybe 30 moons. What if we just pause and make it the size of the Earth? No. That is the most we can do for the moon. Um, and now since it's the same mass as the Earth, and in the Earth we're going to have a little bit of a uh, discussion. And by that I mean they're very unstable. They're going to heat each other up when they get close to each other. It's a situation we don't want. Do, do. Yeah, you can actually see the temperature jumped up a little bit from the tidal forces. That's because it's literally ripping the inside of the moon apart. Uh, it's, it's making it shift because of the difference in gravity from the front of the moon and the back of the moon from Earth. Uh, it's, it's pretty brutal when those forces get powerful. They can do a lot of damage to a planet. And I seem to be very bad at keeping this water under control. Now, of course, the best way to destroy, uh, have the moon and Earth finish their feud would be to just, you know, zero velocity both of them. If I can find the button. Zero velocity. Zero velocity. <laughs> and watch. The moon is coming in to replace the Earth. That's it replacement but what's gonna happen do 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 who will win the new kid or the old kid <laughs> i don't have anything cooler to call uh earth it looks like it is quite the impact and the moon is having random explosions um, Earth is, ooh, Earth is losing mass rather quickly. Could it be that the moon is going to win? The moon's going to win. Wow. This just in, the moon is better than the Earth. Confirmed. 2K16. Even though it's actually 2K18. But, you know... We knew it for years. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time. Bye.